Hey guys, now it is pretty much common knowledge that 8GB of RAM is the bare minimum to do creative work and 4GB of RAM is the bare minimum to use Windows. But that got me thinking, how did the people in the 2000s make such good videos on often far lower than even 2GB of RAM? So I have 4 laptops from different eras of the internet and I'm gonna find out what it was like to edit back then. So let's find out. So starting off, we have this computer, which is my Dell G3 of 3590. And this laptop has an Intel Core i7 9750H and a 1660 Ti with Max-Q graphics. And it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. And this laptop is decent for applications like DaVinci Resolve, but as you can see here, it's really not the fastest computer in the world. And I'm trying to scrub in this timeline and you can see this footage, you can't really see it. Playback is pretty smooth once it has it. But in my experience, there are many other video editing programs that are way more light on the hardware and that take up a lot less resources, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys right now. And the next laptop we have is this HP EliteBook 8440p. Now this laptop has 6GB of RAM, first generation Intel Core i5 M520 CPU. And you can see right now for some reason it's pegged at 100%. Now as you can see, this thing doesn't support DaVinci Resolve. It's a little bit too old for that. So there are many different later video editors, such as Sony Vegas Pro. This is a pretty basic meme video that I made. See how long it takes to load this. Yeah, took quite a bit. And using Sony Vegas Pro 14 on this laptop, I actually was able to edit 1080p videos from my S10 Plus pretty well. Like, it played really smoothly. It actually plays back nice and smooth at a full 29 FPS. And if it's set to best full, it's a 1080p timeline. You can see it's sort of hovering between 20 and 30 FPS playback. If I do draft full, however, it's perfectly smooth was actually only taken up 200 megabytes of RAM. I actually made an entire YouTube video on this laptop and the video is up here. Alright, so the next laptop over here is this. Fujitsu Amilo Li3710 laptop. Now, this Fujitsu Amilo in particular, I have upgraded it to have a Core 2 Duo and 2 gigabytes of RAM. So, let's power it on then. Now, to record the screen, obviously with the other laptop, OBS Studio was becoming very, very, very hard to run. So, I will have to use either Fraps or Hypercam 2 and I'm gonna use Hypercam. And I have two programs that I'm gonna use for this. So it's an older version of Sony Vegas. This is Sony Vegas 8. And I'm also gonna use a software called Handbrake, which is basically an application that you can use to convert your files to more optimized formats. Now I tried using the 1080p clips that I filmed with this phone on this computer, but it didn't really work very well. All right, we have it on the desktop. Okay, why? Why? Of course not. Why? Come on! So I had to use the next best thing. I tried out this Fujifilm camera. Alright, so right now I'm filming on the next best thing. He died thing. on me right away. So I decided to use this camera. Okay, so now I'm recording on this PowerShot A430. You can see right here. This records in AVI 240p. So yeah, and you can see it imports right into Sony Vegas. There's a fly flying around in this freaking room. In this USB drive, I have a game called CS 1.6, uh, and I'm gonna be trying to play it and make some clips that I can edit. All right, so here we go. Sync up the video and audio. Boom, boom, boom. Should be good. So after a gameplay session and a few hours of editing in Sony Vegas Pro 8, I finally made the video. And with the finished video open in the timeline, you can see Sony Vegas only uses 86 megabytes of RAM. Now, if you want to see all of the finished videos, they're all on my second channel, so you can go and watch them right up here. So now let's move on to the next one. The laptop I'm going to be using today is this. This is a Dell Inspiron B120. This has a single core Intel Celeron M CPU. This also has 256 megabytes of RAM. Now because even Hypercam was getting more and more increasingly hard to run on the Core 2 Duo laptop, with this even worse Celeron laptop, I discovered that even the lightest of software struggles on the worst hardware. It's so slow. You see how low that frame rate is? That's like abysmal. So to record the screen, I basically just took my Canon PowerShot camera and I put it under my chin like this. Okay. 
Let's go. Turn up. Oh my god! And to edit the video, I actually didn't use Sony Vegas this time. I used a different editing software called Serif Movie Plus X6. And the video that I made on that horrible laptop is right up here on my second channel. Now the best part is nothing's actually stopping me from editing 720p or even 1080p video on this laptop. So if you want me to do a full video that is edited on that laptop, let's get this video to 50 likes. Now you watch to the end and you might be wondering, why the heck am I re-uploading this video again? Well, the video retention was horrible and the video tanked. The main reason why is because I put the finished videos in the video instead of just putting them on my second channel. So I'm sorry if it's a re-upload. I'm sorry if you're expecting a new video. I'm very, very busy at the moment, but I really, really hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. If you'd love to, please subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye. Deal, 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 deal,